over to our channel is your girl Thomas Stitches. So today I want to drop this beautiful style. It's a cow uh, gown. I'll be drafting it. So stay tuned while we get started. Looking at this, we'll have two layers here. We'll have the skirt part, we'll have the upper part. For the upper part, we're going to use our basic bossy pattern to drop the upper part. Then we'll now drop the skirt part separately. Then the sleeve has a band and the normal sleeve uh, pattern too. So we'll have about one, two, three, three things to work on. Plus the band on the sleeve, we're making it four. Here is the material I'm using. So I'm going to start with the basic bodice pattern. I'm going to be drafting the half length first. That's the first stage. So what I need now is to fold my material into, into two using the, the, uh, the largest part of the body. And for my half length, it's going to be the bust. For those whose bust is, is the whose waist is bigger than the bust, fine. That means you use that measurement to cut. But for here, I'm using the bust, and the bust I'm using here is 42. So let's get started. The half length I'm using here is 17 plus one inch join allowance. Okay. Then here's my shoulder line. The shoulder I'm using is 16 inches plus half inch join allowance to the sleeve because there's going to be a sleeve on it. Okay. You come down as usual. This is normal standard of cutting our basic bodice pattern. I'm whole length using eight and a half. Shoulder slant three quarter inch or one inch i use one inch so let me rule them out so it is a chest line then the boss point is ten and a half boss point is ten and a half So let's join our shoulder to the chest line. It's our standard measurement. If you know them by now. So the neckline I'll be using today is four inches. Four inches for the front. For the back, I use one and a half. I like to mark the back on the front pattern, on the front material. Then the front neck depth will be five inches um go six and a half or oh, five is okay let's use five inches so i'm using five by four inches so it's not really is a curve you can use a v line a v neck or a curve line but for this I think a curve line will be okay. So I've joined it with a little curve. So this is the back, this is the front line. Then join the shoulder slant. These are all standard. You know them by now. So now let's insert our bust measurement. Divide by four plus sewing allowance. Then I am poke off that you know by now. They are all in my, I added to my. Then the waist measurement divide by four plus that allowance and sewing allowance. That allowance mostly is one inch, don't forget that part. And then sewing allowance will be attached to it. Okay, 
So I'll just adjust a little to balance it up. You don't even need it because it stretches a little. So now let me cut this off. I'm going to be using the front to cut the back. So I've cut the front and the back. The back has a zip allowance of 2 inches. This is it here. Okay. Then the front already I've already cut. I use the front to cut the I use the front neckline to cut the front and the back. So I will now be cutting off this uh, front neckline. Then the armhole now I'm going to be cutting off the front armhole. You know it comes in by half inch. So I've done that already. I'll be cutting it off. And that's all. Now I'll cut it off and then I'll start cutting the skirt. So now I want to draft the skirt that will be attached to that uh, upper part of a half length. So to start, this is our starting line. For my starting line, I'm going to be measuring 10 inches down. I'm going to measure 10 inches down. And mark a straight line. You know the cow is on the skirt. Okay, I've done that. Now, I inserted 2 inches allowance here. It's for zip allowance. And there's another 2 inches for front allowance. So this, what I'm drafting here is the back first. The back pattern. So from this 10 inches now, that will be my starting point now. I will now call it, I will now call this my waistline. I'm using this as a waistline. After that 10 inches, like I said. So I will now measure the hip. Uh, length the hip length I'm using here is nine inches. It's between eight on depends on the person, eight to nine inches. So here now, so I'm using this as says waist. Here now will be hip. So let me rule it out. Okay. You know that whatever we're doing, you have to. Avoid touching the two inch allowance in front here, yeah, center front. So now I've gotten my hip and the waist. So I'll now move this my 10 inch up. So I'll not be using it now. And I'll now get my full length. have our waistline here we have the hip when we have the full length the full length here is 42 plus and how many allowance so now i'm going to be inserting our hip allowance our hip circumference sorry the knee i'm using here is 21 so i mark the knee here because it's a straight skirt with a cow by the upper part so the hip now i'm going to be doing hip divided by four Plus sewing allowance that I'm inserting at the hip line here. Then I'll now minus one and a half inch from whatever I have in that hip line to insert the measurement of the knee here. I'll take the same measurement here down to the hemming level, hemming line. So that's what I have. I'm going to join them now. Like I said, it's a pencil skirt down with a cow by the up. So here now we are done with this. If you still want it to come in more, you can see minus one inch here. So I have to tip her in towards the more. Okay, now let's get back to the front part. I've gotten a pencil skirt out. Now I'm going to be inserting. Don't forget all the measurements I'm, I'm inserting here is after the zip allowance. The allowance in front anyway. You can call it zip allowance, but I'm using two inches. So I'll come to the waistline here. I'll insert the waist measurement. Waist divided by four plus half inch allowance. Is that what we have here? Just for guide. So here is the waist allowance. Now, I will now from here, I will mark the same thing up here. Whatever I have on the waist, I'll mark it on top of this place. But I will be adding 9 inches extra to this upper part here. 
So I added nine. I can add nine, ten, eleven. Depends on you. I will now come to the hip line. I will come down by three inches. This is where I where I want the cow to stop. Where I want the dropping to stop. Three inches after downwards from the hip line. Then on that hip line, I'll just mark three inches again. Now it's just a guide for me to be able to mark my color. So from here now, this extra nine, I'm going to cow mark it down in a curvy manner. marked it from there you can see how it looks you can see the cow there it looks and make sure it rhymes with the remaining part of the body now for this my waistline now i'm going to make a mark on the waistline to where this cow started from just in a nice way it's not really straight it's in a curvy way That is it. Let me cut it so you can see it. I want me to run it again. You mark your allowance. They're going to be 2 inches allowance in front. And they're going to be 2 inches for zip allowance at the back. So I started with the 2 inches at the back. I've marked my 2 inches down. I call it zip allowance. Then from the starting line, I marked 10 inches down. Where that 10 inches top, I use that as my waistline. From that waistline, I got my hip. From my hip, I got my knee. From my knee, I got the full length. That done. And I said I inserted my measurement. After the zip allowance, I inserted the hip measurement. Inserted the waist measurement, just for a guide. Now, from the hip measurement, I came down by 3 inches. So that I can... That is where I want the cow to fall down and stop. That's where this is to stop. Okay? So from there now, I made my curving... To this starting line so that's where the cow will be falling from and from there still I, I joined it straight to the waistline I hope this is clear I'm gonna cut it off and see how it looks now this is what we'll have you can see how beautiful it looks so like I said there's gonna be uh, there's gonna be a folding in front as in I want to use a folding in the front so I can use Two inches, three inches or four inches, depends on what you want. But for me now, I'm using two inches. So I'll use this same front now to cut the back exactly. Because I'm not putting any folding at the back. So I'll use this same measurement because it's two inches for zip. I use it to cut the back. So here is a back, a back a bodice pattern. I've cut facing for it. I'm not using lining. I want to just use facing. I've cut the facing. And then I've inserted the dart. The dart, the back dart is uh, 10 inches of length. Then half inch both sides. This and here is the front. I've cut the facing also. And I've inserted the dart. So I'll be taking it to the machine to turn the facing and insert my dart. Okay. And I've gone ahead to cut the sleeve. This is the band that will be by the hand sleeve like this. And then here is the main body. So if you want to learn how to cut sleeve, it's on my channel. It's on my channel. Don't mind these children. They are home. Okay. Then I have the back. I've cut the back of the skirt and the front. So let me just join the, first, uh, the bodies first, which you already know how to do. Then I'll come back to show us how to work on the skirt itself. It's a bit technical. <laughs> 